Hey cousins, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can become one of our cousins. Alright guys, so I'm all dressed up and I'm about to go to a Cantu event. Hence, my hair is out. This is the wash and go. I literally didn't put any products inside my hair. I just wanted to like let it air dry and keep it moving. Because I didn't want the products to like weigh it down. But let me show y'all my outfit. Don't I look super cute? Look at these heels. They are so cute. So it's like a cheetah print. And I got these little black little pants on. I love the pockets. And the top is very simple. You know, real simple. Look at that booty though. So I'm about to head to the event. See what it's about and then be back home on my way to the event i have a haul in my mouth because bless is sick and he has gotten everybody sick in the house like now i'm sick said sick favor sick like everybody has whatever he has and whatever he has is really not that bad like i feel like it's like really slight and it's crazy because now that Everybody else has whatever it is. He's over it. Like, he's starting it to get over it. But it's passed along to everybody else. And I'm really just, like, forcing myself to go to this event because I don't feel like crap. Like, I feel okay. I'm not at, like, my highest I feel good peak. Like, I'm not there. I'm, like, in the middle. Like, I feel okay because I'm really not all the way myself because I do feel a little sick but if it gets to a point where I feel like I can't be around nobody then I'm not gonna be around anybody I'm not coughing or anything like I, I don't think I'm contagious like I don't think I can just pass it along to other people I just think let's pass it along to us because you know we're actually taking care of him and you know he was sleeping in our bed and all over our pillows we had to wash everything no, I'm not contagious at all <laughs> but I'm really like forcing myself to go because I'm like although I'm under the weather I don't want want to allow this to take over me you know and take over my spirit so I'm like I'm still gonna go and be fine um, only thing is that I'm blowing my nose often <laughs> that's about it first influencer event that's what i can call it i've never been to one um i've been a, i've been invited to a few but i just it's never been like the perfect time it's either i got something going on or it's like last minute or whatever so this is the first time that i'm going to an influencer event so this is gonna be pretty exciting I'm hoping to meet some people that I can potentially do some business with, like, that's my motive. But I think the event is in Atlantic Station somewhere, because it has me in Atlantic Station right now. I mentioned but I'm at this event by myself I'm about to go in by myself I don't know who's gonna be here like I don't know anyone that's gonna be here at all so hopefully I can hear I know somebody to make a friend <laughs> but no um I used to go to events by myself all the time like before I had said I would always be by myself so this is not new for me at all so let's see how this goes.
created for um, women with all different textures, from straight to kiki. Um, you'll notice that they aren't the same consistency as our like coconut curling cream or leave-in repair cream. It's a little lighter so that all textures can use it. Um, we have a sleek path. That path is for sleeking and sculpting the hair. So we do have a shampoo that's great for color treated hair. We have um, we have a curl, curl cream, a defining cream that's good for your twist out, braid outs, wash and goes, a defining gel that I like to combine with the cream to give me a little extra hold, especially in this humidity. So um, definitely try those two together. Um, but you will leave with some goodies today. You can try and test them out here if you like. So I'm back in the car. The event is still going on. Um, I'm going home. I'm just kind of over it. I really tried, y'all. I tried. Oh my gosh. And I be feeling so bad because I don't be wanting to leave said and my children in the house. You know, I wanted said to come with me, but I really didn't want anyone to watch my kids. Um, so he couldn't come because I wanted him to watch them. I didn't want anyone else to watch them. And it's really crazy. Like we can dead ass have nannies. Like, there are people who want to be their nannies, but I'm so, I don't know what to call it. I'm just not comfortable with people watching my kids. Like, I would, I would rather my children be able to speak, like, you know, let me know what's going on and to be able to use the bathroom by themselves. Because I don't want anybody changing my kids' diapers and I don't want anyone doing anything to my children and they not being able to tell me what's going on or what happened you know I have different family members who have been hurt by other family members um and yeah I'm just I just don't want to sign myself up to be put in that kind of position where I have to go to jail for murder because somebody done something to my child and that's just facts on top of facts. That's one thing I didn't think about having kids. I didn't really understand how controlling I would be and how, you know, protective I would be over what's mine. Like, those are my children. They're my responsibility. And I just don't trust people. I don't trust them. I don't even trust. I don't trust. I don't. I just don't trust. I don't. Seth's texting me. What is he saying? asking me what I want to eat because he wanted me to grab us some food but I just called the restaurant and he said that they um they closed their kitchen early because they're having maintenance so they're like technically closed I don't even know how to answer the phone <laughs> but they're closed basically so we can't eat from there so he's trying to figure out what we're gonna eat I can really go home and cook but he probably I don't know he said he wants something else so I know y'all I'm like four drinks in <laughs> no I'm two drinks in I had two drinks and then it was something like I just have mimosas it's not that serious and then before I left actually I took two shots of Hennessy to get over this cold because you know like drinking liquor makes you sweat like last night I drink a hottie toddy like I made a hottie toddy that's like brown liquor ginger honey lemon all mixed up with the tea and it helps you sweat out the cold so i'm probably gonna be drinking for the rest of the week <laughs> i just posted a picture on instagram so i literally took this picture before i left the house and it's super bomb so go leave a comment and let me know that you've seen this video I'm about to go into the grocery store and grab us some dinner since the restaurant we wanted to eat from has closed. Um, said it was going to Instacart, but since I was riding past, I just called him like, yo, I can literally just go in here and get the groceries. Because the thing about Instacart is that it takes like an hour or two for it to arrive to your house. And I know he's hungry now, so I'm like, I'm also just run in the grocery store and get it. And since everybody is sick, I'm going to get some tea. We already have tea, but I'm going to get some chai tea because it's really good if you have like a cold. I'm going to get some fresh ginger and I need some more uh, strawberries and bananas. So, yeah. And of course, we're going to be eating salmon for dinner because y'all know that's all we eat. 
literally that's all we eat. It's sickening. A jean jacket on because it's kind of cold and it's always cold in the grocery store. So, put this jean jacket on and I did change my shoes. I have on some flats. Look, I'm not walking through this grocery store with no heels on. I'm not even gonna play myself like that. Allegedly supposed to be organic. To be completely honest, y'all, I don't believe it. I feel like they're shooting these strawberries up because they are just like really huge for no reason. I'm gonna get some blueberries too. Y'all, I've been looking for this. I was supposed to get it in their last grocery order and it never showed up. So I can't wait to try this in the morning. sent me the tea that he wants me to get it's this one so I have to find this one so I almost have everything that I need I'm just looking for two more things and then I'm out of here to run back to the aisle like while I was in the line about to pay because I forgot one thing and if I would have left that and not got it that would have been so pissed so I'm headed home about to cook some dinner hopefully said cooks it I doubt it he's probably gonna want me to cook it he cooked dinner the other night because I was so tired I like fell asleep so I'm back home, I'm about to make us some dinner, then I'm going to make us some tea so we can get over whatever it is that we got. The kiddos are sleeping, it says right here he said he has no energy because he's hungry. So. Sugar mama has got a... Hey, sugar mama. Catch. Catch. Let's have learned a new word, catch. And he's going to throw shit catch. and tell you to catch it. You better not throw them shoes. <laughs> he, be like, he be like, catch. And just throw random stuff at you.
there's my dinner. I have a half of piece of salmon, but we have more. So if I get hungry, I could just get another one, but I feel like this is enough. And then this is Ted's plate. Instead is making us a drink to get over the sickness. He got orange juice in here with fresh ginger. 